Bam! Quick review of the new White Rune record, Dawn of the White Rune. This was a complete underground discovery that I wanted to put on your guys' radar. Fans of bands like Summoning and Caladan Brood do not miss out on this record. They are supremely triumphant and anthemic, cinematic, they kind of have this imperial vibe to them. The vocals are what I would describe as wet. They are slippery. I wouldn't say this is a very raw vocalist. And just overall, if you're not familiar with this project, they are a two-piece black metal project coming out of Finland. Supremely melodic, sometimes to almost like a heavy metal effect and the medieval tone to the instruments. This record relies on repetition and comparatively speaking with some black metal that might service as more of technicality and taking you in one place ending up in another, most of the time these tracks begin and end in a similar fashion, but I think there is plenty enough fun on this record to keep the listener engaged. I personally got very invested and it is on the nose when it comes to the linear and kind of shallow idolatry of evil and darkness and Satan and that type of thing, just typical black metal things, but I don't mind too much of how shallow it can be from the lyrical department and just the topical department because of just how catchy I found this record to be. Because it isn't a harsh black metal record, it's not an abrasive one, so people that don't like raw black metal, this might be up your alley. And there are just tons of memorable riffs and progressions across this thing. I'm absolutely in love with the heavy metal tone some of these tracks take on. The introduction of the track Death at Sundown is extremely heavy metal inspired, and most of this track is. Or the unsettling keyboard breakup of Echoes of Torment. Really clean stuff, really solid stuff. And speaking of keyboards, can we just talk about the usage of them on the track Crimson Lament? They are so pretty, and I pretty much have no complaints about the keyboard usage across this record, even if they're not the most inventive by black metal standards, they kept me really hooked. And overall just provided a really good piece to add to the already simplistic black metal instrumentation, but for fans of Caladan Brood and Summoning, you'll know that that anthemic is just addicting. Although I will say they step a little bit out of the realm of what is like cheesy and what's a little too far on a track like Soulstorm. Um, the spoken word on this track, little corny. And also I don't know why the Ravenous part one and two, the enders of this record were stretched out to be two different tracks. I think they either could have cut the fluff on part one or just made it one track because it's a little unbalanced of how the first part is almost 10 minutes and the second part is around four. But overall, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this record. It may play it a little safe and it may not be the harshest black metal record, but that's sometimes not what I'm looking for in a black metal record. It, it, it really hooked me and I think it'll hook you guys too. But overall, I'm going to be given this album a 7 out of 10, and that is a wrap. Have you heard this new White Rune record, Dawn of the White Rune? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss this record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is, my name is Jay Morris, and I'm signing off saying farewell.